can we teach engineering with video games? Whether they realize it or not, students' first introduction to many types of engineering is through video games. So, as engineers, it's worth knowing how that experience compares to what we do in real life. Today I'll talk about four games I've played recently and touch on how elements of those games relate to what we do. First, let's talk about the Viking-inspired game Valheim. In addition to adventuring and general Vikingness, developers have added structures and stability as a key game mechanic. You can build with a variety of walls, floors, and roof parts, but as more pieces are connected, the stability decreases until the structure eventually collapses. You can engineer more complicated structures by being mindful of stability and adding reinforcement and ground connections, or using different structural material like wood, stone, and iron. The game also allows for some grading and excavation, and while the result might not meet health and safety regulation, it is useful in game with construction. Another game with grading and excavation at its core is the ever-reliable Minecraft. Minecraft allows you to delve and build in a virtual world with practically no limits. On top of building with structures and soil, you can manipulate liquids like water and lava for irrigation and decoration purposes. Materials in the game, like redstone, even allow for construction of ingenious mechanical and electrical systems like trains, traps, and machines. And in some extreme cases, people have wired in redstone calculators and even simple computers. But for machines that go truly above and beyond, we have to talk about Kerbal Space Program. This game makes rocket science accessible. It allows you to design, build, and fly rockets while keeping track of weight, fuel, and simple forces. You're challenged to explore a vast solar system full of planets and moons that you can land and interact with. The game also encourages the engineering design process, tweaking and testing and learning from abject failure. The game has been so popular with real space engineers that characters from the game have actually flown on recent NASA missions. But for down-to-earth civil engineering, my favorite game is still From Dust. You move soil and water to build landscapes, and the two interact with some realism. Soil piled in a mound will settle to its angle of repose, water pools and low points and fills reservoirs. Dikes will overtop and gradually erode, and rivers will cut new channels and create deltas. Sometimes, to relax, I just watch these systems evolve over time. It's as close to an RPG version of Hack Raz as I'm ever likely to get. In the end, these games probably can't teach engineering by themselves. I never, for instance, use them as design tools, but they are good at teaching about engineering. And as we try to bring new people into the engineering field, that's a very useful tool in its own right. If there's a game you think is good at teaching engineering, I'd love to hear about it. So let me know, and thanks for watching.